God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Our Lord, the path of suffering trod, and since his blood for man has flowed, tis me that man should yield to God. The life he owes, Alleluia. No shame to own the crucified, Nay, tis our immortality That we confess our God who died And for him die, Alleluia Beholding his predestined crown Into death's arms the martyr goes Dying he conquers death overthrown O throws his foes, Alleluia. Lord, make us your own soldiers true. Grant us brave faith, a spirit pure, that for your name, your cross in view, we may endure, Alleluia. Lord, heal my soul for I have sinned against you. Happy the man who considers the poor and the weak, the Lord will save him in the day of evil, will God and give him life, make him happy in the land, and will not give him up to the will of his foes. The Lord will help him on his bed of pain. He will bring him back from sickness to health. As for me, I said, Lord, have mercy on me. Hear my soul, for I have sinned against you. My foes are speaking evil against me. How long before he dies and his name is forgotten? They come to visit me and speak empty words. Their hearts full of malice, they spread it abroad. My enemies whisper together against me. They all weigh up the evil which is on me. Some deadly thing has fastened upon him. He will not rise again from where he lies. Thus even my friend in whom I trusted, who ate my bread has turned against me. But you, O Lord, have mercy on me. Let me rise once more, and I will repay them. By this I shall know that you are my friend. If my foes not shout in triumph over me, if you uphold me, I shall be unharmed and set in your presence for evermore. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from age to age. Amen, amen. Give praise to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, 
both now and for ages and ending. Amen. Lord, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. God is for us a refuge and strength, a help close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear though the earth should run, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. Even though its waters rage and foam, even though the mountains be shaken by its waves, the Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. Nations are in tumult, kingdoms are shaken. He lifts his voice, the earth shrinks away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord. The redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. He puts an end to wars over all the earth. The bow he breaks, the spear he snaps. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, the God of Jacob is our stronghold. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ, the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. All the peoples will come and adore you, Lord. My dear people, if you can have some share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad, because you will enjoy a much greater gladness when his glory is revealed. It is a blessing for you when they insult you for bearing the name of Christ, because it means that you have the spirit of glory, the spirit of God resting on you. You have tested us, God, and you brought us out into freedom again. You have tested us, God, 
And you have brought us out into freedom again. You have refined us like silver. You have tested us, God. And you have brought us out into freedom again. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have tested us, God. And you have brought us out into freedom again. The saints will dwell in the kingdom of heaven. Their peace will last forever. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He looks on his servant in our lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts for his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son and Holy Spirit both now and forever, world without end. The saints will dwell in the kingdom of heaven. Their peace will last forever. Let us give thanks to the King of Martyrs. For this is the hour when he offered himself in the Last Supper and laid down his life on the cross. We praise you, Christ the Lord. We praise you, Christ our Saviour, example and strength of the martyrs, because you have loved us to the end. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have promised repentant sinners the reward of eternal life. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have called the Church to offer the blood of the new and eternal covenant, the blood shed for the remission of sins. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have brought us to this day with the gift of faith intact. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because of the many brothers who today have come to share in your saving death. We praise you, Christ the Lord, at the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty and ever-living God, 
who adorn the church with the witness of martyrs. Grant, we pray, that through the intercession of blessed Peter Toe wrote, we may be strengthened in faith and constancy, and like him, be steadfast in all trials. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.